Hi, my name is Joshua Chuk, and I am an associate of Think Neuro, and I am the leader of the Cognition and Computational Neuroscience cohort. This is a bibliometric analysis of the effect of serotonin receptors on Alzheimer's in mice models to develop treatments. So what is Alzheimer's? Alzheimer's disease is a severe form of dementia that affects approximately 55 million people globally. According to the Alzheimer's Association, around one in nine people aged 65 and older have Alzheimer's. With this disease, memory, critical thinking, and, overall and the overall behavior of a patient is negatively affected. In this study, we were interested in observing how the abundance of a certain receptor, serotonin or 5-HT4, can potentially reverse the effects of Alzheimer's through mice models. These mice models will, and their data uh, will be analyzed using computational methods that will refine deep brain simulation techniques. Uh, deep brain simulation, a technique, a therapeutic used for Alzheimer's that will help the memory of the patient. Serotonin, uh, serotonin greatly improves cognition and other symptoms of dementia, which is why it is our focus which is why this neurotransmitter and its receptor is our primary focus um, in our bibliometric analysis. Um, but the reason why it is our main focus is because it has been shown to be able to grow the amount of acetylcholine release, which strengthens the synapses and communication from the hippocampus to the body. And here we explore the various sources that have dabbled with similar topics regarding deep brain stimulation and Alzheimer's. The goal of this experiment was to analyze the top 100 cited journals relating to Alzheimer's disease and assess the prevalence of 5-HT4 receptors being targeted in mice models uh, to enhance memory and cognition. We utilized the Web of Science database to find relevant studies and perform a bibliometric analysis uh, pertaining to the keywords 5-HG4 serotonin or serotonin, uh, Alzheimer's, deep brain simulation, uh, hippocampus, and mice models. Uh, a bibliometric analysis is a statistical way of studying written publications like journal articles and books. It uses these publications data to uncover trends and insights in scholarly research. All articles were examined to prevent any singular article from appearing more than once to ensure the accuracy of our graphs and analysis. So when analyzing the top 100 articles uh, of, of 76 senior author institutions that have multiple papers, uh, the top three most cited uh, institution were the California Institute of Technology uh, and the University of California of and the University of California System, which was cited 816 times. And the second most cited uh, institution was the Central. National de la Research Scientifique, which was cited 409 times, and the Pennsylvania Commonwealth System of Higher Education and the University of Pittsburgh, which was cited 406 times. The most cited senior authors with two or more papers in the top 100 cited, most cited papers on Alzheimer's disease was Sylvia. Sylvan J. Robert, indicated by Robert, comma, SJ. Most of our sources came from the United States as well as uh, Europe, and the top 100 most cited articles were found, were collected in 46 different journals, uh, with the Cell Journal being cited over 800 times uh, and being based in the US. And the second most cited journal was the Behavioral Brain Research Journal, which was cited over almost 600 times, uh, which, uh, and this journal is based in the Netherlands. The third most cited journal was the 
Neuropsychopharmacology Journal, uh, which is a journal based in the UK, and it was cited around 450 times. So after looking at our results, we concluded we, uh, we had a couple of ideas of how these results came to be. Um, the high concentration of articles from institutions in, in California could be a result of the uh, institutions in California receiving the most funding out of any state in the United States, uh, receiving almost six billion eight hundred and ninety nine million three hundred and forty two thousand eight hundred and eighty one and eight and eight hundred and eighty one dollars in funding from the National Institute of Health. Of the top three most cited journals, which are the Cell Journal, Behavioral Brain Research Journal, and the Neuropsychopharmacology Journal, uh, we thought that it could be a result of the broad scope of the journal's topics, because each journal had topics such as cell biology, molecular biology, uh, neuroscience, uh, pharmacology, and diseaseage all of which are extremely broad topics that, um, that, 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 that can be connected across many different journals. In conclusion, a significant portion of the articles came from the United States with a great number of them coming from universities in California. The largest uh, contributor was the Cell Journal and an analysis of these 100 publications revealed that uh, the serotonin, that serotonin can potentially be used to improve cognitive systems and treat Alzheimer's disease. Uh, and it can also inform the mice models to, that can be used to, uh, that can be used to make data and that data could be used to inform future computational uh, methods that will further refine deep brain simulation. Uh, we think that it is necessary for further research to be conducted in order to discover the specific utilization of serotonin receptors that can successfully treat Alzheimer's disease. And um, as our research only focused on the prevalence of targeting these receptors in mice models, and their relevance to uh, deep brain simulation. Future treatments, um, we think that these future treatments should use data uh, from mice models to further inform and refine deep brain simulation and uh, help to help more people in across the world. We think that, and we, th we, we think that more research is needed to on the negative effects that could occur with these treatments in order to ensure that they are effective and cause minimal discomfort.